Hey everyone, welcome back to State the Obvious, the show where I show you what you already know. With Facecam. Anyway, in today's episode, we answer a question more mathematically relevant than any that have come before it. That's two. Th there were two before this one. Don't worry, I understand that not everyone is numerically savvy, but I'm sure I can put this one in terms even a Neanderthal can understand. So get your calculators out, raise your beam balances, it's time to answer a question. How much does a kilogram weigh? I know that at first look, it seems impossible. How do you calculate something like that? It just doesn't seem to come together in your head. There is actually a method, one invented by some of humanity's greatest minds. We need to give it scale. Give it something we can relate to. For our scale, we'll be using kilograms. Because the metric system is better than imperial. <laughs> now that we have this new information, we can reform our question. How much does a kilogram weigh in kilograms? We actually do this through the use of a very special number called pi. Pi is a very common food, but did you know it's also a number? You probably didn't, if you skipped primary school, or just forgot it, but anyway. Did you know that this means that when you eat pie, you're actually eating numbers? But back on topic, the formula is pie times 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 pie and then you take that number, and you put it to the power of zero, and then you times that by the amount of kilograms. The whole formula might seem a bit overly complex, but don't worry, I can do the math. There we go. It means the answer is one. Therefore, we need a times the number of kilograms by one. So, how are we gonna do that? You might ask. Well, it's actually quite easy, thanks to a mathematical phenomenon called basic logic. When you multiply a number by one, you get that exact same number. I know what you're thinking. Wow, this looks so fun and interesting. I wanna be a mathematician. But don't jump on it so quickly. Not all math is this interesting. Most of it's actually a lot simpler and not as fun. So with only one last equation left to perform, we are so close to the answer that we worked so hard to find. Thanks to basic logic, we know that number of kilograms times one is number of kilograms. Therefore, our final equation is 1 equals 1. Now let's just quickly go and put that into the calculator and we'll have our answer. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about facecam, that, that, that's the concept of facecam, not what you think about my face. Also a special thanks to the Grim Elite Gamer who recommended this question. You can recommend your own questions in the comment section below and have them featured in one of my videos. Also a special thanks to all of you for 1000 total views across my channel. I'm, I'm really happy about it. So thanks for watching, subscribe for free oxygen.